Hi students, welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at simple interest. And you must be wondering what do all these letters and abbreviations mean? Don't worry, we'll go into it further in the lesson. Now, let's look on some of these flyers. Let's identify what exactly do you think is being advertised in these flyers. Let's look on it. If you say loans, <laughs> you're absolutely right. So we have different institutions advertising personal loans. Of course, money is a scarce commodity, so everybody is willing to lend money. But guess what? Whenever these institutions are lending money, they are charging you interest in other words they charge you to borrow money from them so if it is that you're going to borrow one hundred dollars they're going to add some additional amount to the hundred dollars so that when you're ready to pay them back you're going to pay back more than the hundred dollars and that's how they make their money these lending institutions it's a business you cannot <laughs> hate them for doing business. So let's see if we can identify some key uh, terms, some key terms from these flyers, all right? All right, in the first flyer from Tech Loan Limited, what kind of a loan is being offered here? It is a student loan, and it says you can access about how much money? How much money can you borrow? Up to two hundred thousand dollars so you can borrow up to two hundred thousand oh. dollars let's look on the other flyer so this flyer tells you the amount of money you can borrow let's see if we can identify some other concepts that comes with loans and interest in this flyer here with the yellow background it tells you that the loan you can secure a loan up to 100% of its value as at rates as the low as 7.45 percentage percent. The 7.45 percent would work would be what we call the interest rate. So you're borrowing some money. You can borrow two hundred thousand dollars. I'm not saying that's the amount the um they're lending you now for the car just for argument's sake and whenever you buy the, borrow the two hundred thousand dollars you're going to have to pay back the two hundred dollars plus interest and the interest is going to be at a rate at 7.45 percent we're going to go into rates at a later date and then this flyer above said that you have up to 72 months to pay so let's just look at the three things that we looked at. We looked at the loan, which is the amount that you're borrowing. We looked at the rate, which is the interest, how much interest you're going to pay when you have to pay back the loan, right? And we also looked at how long they give you to pay back a loan. So let's go into detail in, with these terms. All right, so whenever we're calculating simple interest, there are three main, what we call, items that we need to focus on. The first is the principal, and I made reference to it a few moments ago, that the principal is the money you borrow. Or if you're investing, it's the money you invest. That's what we call the principal. The next elements or factor you need to consider is the rate the rate is the interest that is charged and the final thing that you need to consider when you're calculating simple interest is the time the length of time you borrow and invest and it's usually in years These are the three things that you should consider when calculating simple interest. And there's a simple formula. 
all these three elements here, you just multiply them. <laughs> and that's what you, what you do to find the simple interest. So simple. So simple interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. If we use abbreviations, SI means the same thing as simple interest. P for principal, R for rate, T for time. Now, let's try some examples. John, John, however you want to pronounce his name. It's not John. John, John borrowed $3,000 for four years at 5% interest. What is the simple interest? Let us first identify the three things that we need to find simple interest. The principal, what's the principal? The amount that was borrowed. So in this question, the principal is $3,000. Good. What's the rate? The rate is the percentage or the interest, the percentage interest. So it's 5%. And remember, when dealing with percentages, we write it as a fraction of 100. If you haven't seen my latest videos on percentages, I'm going to link a few of them in the, in, in the notification above, in the description above. So check that out. So we're writing the rate 5% as a fraction of 100. But we can also write it as a decimal. And to write it as a decimal, we just divide 5 by 100. So if we type in, if we're using a calculator, type in 5, your division sign, then 100, and that will give you the decimal. The final thing that we need to learn now is the time. And the question gave us that it is 4 years. So what do you do next? You just multiply the values that you get. Just so easy. Principal times rate times time. So we take our 3,000, which is our principal. We take our rate, which is 0 0.05. And we take our time. And we just get our calculators and multiply it. Or you can do it by paper. If it is that um, you don't remember how to multiply a whole number by a decimal, I will also link that video up. Both. All right. If it is that you feel more comfortable working with your percentages as a fraction, you can go right ahead. You can write 5 over 100 and then you will cancel and simplify just the same. I'm not going to go in detail because we already went into details when we were doing percentages. So watch those videos for context, all right? Now, when you multiply all, the, all three values, you're supposed to get $600. So that means that when Jan borrows $3,000, the interest that she has to pay back on her money is $600. So in all, if Jan is going to pay back the loan, she's going to have to pay the $3,000 plus the interest, which is $600. Let's do another example. Calculate the simple interest on a $25,000 loan Borrowed at 15% for three years. I suggest that you pause the video, have a go, try it on your own, and then play to see if it is that you're on the right track. All right? So let's quickly identify the three quantities or the three numbers that we need to find simple interest. We need the principal. What's the principal in this question? 25,000, good. The rate, 15%. You can write it as a fraction or a decimal as you choose. And the time is three years. Awesome. So we just plug in our formula. 
simple interest is principal times rate times time. You have to remember that formula, students. And so we just substitute our values. So whatever, wherever you see P, you replace P with the value, which is 25,000, and so on and so forth. You multiply, and we got 11,250. So that means that when this person borrows $25,000 for a period of three years, and the interest rate is 15%, they will end up paying $11,250 alone for interest. That is not even the money that they've already know. They're just the $11,250. That's just the amount, the value of the interest. All right? So imagine you have to pay by the interest plus the amount that you borrowed. My, my. All right, let's do one last example for today with this question. Calculate the total amount to be paid if you borrow $8,500 or $8,500 for five years at a rate of 5%. So not only are we going to be calculating the simple interest, but we need to find out how much you're going to pay back in all. So remember, when you borrow people things, you have to give it back to them. So you go to the bank and you borrow $8,500, you have to give it back to them, plus the interest that they charge you. So let us first calculate the interest. Using principal times rate times time. We look at the principal, we multiply them out. So... The answer we got is 2125 Is this the total amount that we're going to pay? No. You're going to repay the amount you borrowed plus interest. So how do you do that? You take the total amount, which is the interest, plus the loan amount. The loan amount is the same that we call the principal. We add them together. And the answer that we get, that's the total amount. So in all, we're going to repay $10,625. How much did you borrow again? $8,500. And how much are you paying back? $10,625. You see how important it is to save? Sometimes it's better if you just save your money <laughs> instead of taking out a loan, right? All right, students. So we've come to the end of another lesson. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share it to as many persons as possible so that everyone can benefit. Thank you, students, and take care.